Abraham. Abraham lived in Ur. Abraham almost sacrificed Isaac before the angels told him not to, and they ended up sacrificing a ram to seal the covenant with God, with Abraham and God. He, he was the first known Hebrew to ever live. Abra Abram was Abraham's original name until he became ruler, and he changed his name because Abraham means father of many nations. He also had a covenant with God in which promised Abraham to land to him and his descendants. Our story starts with Moses. Moses came up with the Ten Commandments when he descended Mount Sinai. This is like rules to the Jews. We wouldn't have most of the last four books of Torah without Moses. Exodus is extremely important to Moses because it's all about how he led people from the far side of the wilderness to Horeb. This is when Moses pulls apart the sea in astonishment. This story was in the Exodus, which literally means departure of Egypt. Another shocking event was when he turned a rock into water, even though God didn't want him to. The Jewish people liked that he gave God to worship. This is why he was considered a great leader. Another famous story is when Moses goes down the Nile River. It starts out with the Pharaoh making a new law that says newborns should be drowned, according to the Torah. This causes the mother of baby Moses to put him in a basket and send him down the Nile River. The Nile River led to the Egyptian Pharaoh's palace, where the princess found, the Mose found Moses, the Pharaoh and the princess, raised him as a prince of Egypt. King David. King David ruled over Jerusalem, the capital of Israel, because he defeated Goliath. One of his better moments was when he forced the Philistines out of Israel with three battles. The Philistines tried to attack because they felt threatened by David. Once David had to flee the city with his people, leaving ten concubines because he thought that Absalom would return to take over Jerusalem. So when he left, that is what happened. Once David came back with his troops, and he killed 20,000 of Absalom's Israelite soldiers. David did not only fight, he was also a great songwriter and the author, author of the Psalms, which is a book of poetry. David's famous story of, Goliath, of David and Goliath. In the beginning, we have a young teenager named David. He, is this, he sees this giant, Goliath, who is conquering cities. David said, I will take on this mission against the giant. He takes a pouch of stones and a slingshot to take down Goliath. Once he gets in the standoff, he takes the slingshot, hits Goliath in the head, and kills him. The people love him so much, they appoint him as king. Solomon is King David's son, became Israel's most magnificent king. People who visit his temple praised him. He was a very wise man. Solomon made Israel have power and wealth. After Solomon's death, his kingdom was split into two parts. The story of the two mothers and their baby consists of one actual mother of the kid and a fake. Who, to decide who would get the baby, Solomon would cut the baby in half. He was thinking that the true mother would say, just give the baby to the other mother just so it would live. This plan worked perfectly, and when the actual mother got the baby back. 